everybody, it's Natalie at Custom Crafts, and it's not laundry day here today. <laughs> We're actually doing a very thrifty project for you today. We know that um, many of you are experiencing tough economic times, and we have a really cute project today that you could probably use a lot of the things that you could find around your house. If you have some old shirts that maybe you or um, your husband or your kids are not wearing anymore, or if you um, don't have things in your own closet, you can always go to your local Goodwill store, which is where I got all of these things. And what we're going to be doing with these today is making this cute and fun little bracelet, which is a great, great gift idea for around the holidays. You can certainly choose different fabrics and colors to match the personality of who is receiving the gift. And the bracelet, we're using is one of these little guys here. You probably have a lot of these around your house. Maybe you supported a benefit or you have um, just colored ones that you're no longer wearing using. So this is a great recyclable craft, a green craft, because you're using a lot of things you already have. Now what you'll need to cut your flowers out is a new thing, and that's from customcrops.com. Um, there are a couple of really cool nestabilities um, that you can pick up at our website, and these are just a few of the many flowers that are in the nestability collection. We've got poinsettias, we've got blossoms, we've got nested flowers and dahlias. There are all kinds of different flowers. So that is how I cut the different layers of the bracelet and I use them in my cuddle bug. So other than a little fabric glue, everything that you need is right here in front of me. So let's get started. So our first step in our recycled bracelet project is to cover our silicone bracelet. And I should also mention that if you don't have any of these around your house, we do sell them at customcrops.com. So visit our website and you can find these. Um, then I should also talk about fabric choice because this bracelet, although it's the similar, similar color scheme, looks a little bit different than the one I have that I'm wearing. Um, when I went to Goodwill, I looked for corduroy, and but there are a couple of different kinds of corduroy. Now there's kind of like this corduroy that's got a wide, a, a wider and more vivid stripe to it, where the purple colored one over here is very subtle, and I found that to cut better in your cuddle bug with your nestability. So just keep that in mind. Um, the silk actually that I'm going to be wrapping the bracelet in came from the inside of the jacket. So even if you don't like the outside of the garment, you might want to look inside to see what kind of lining is there. Um, so anyway, you can just go through your Goodwill store and see what you can find. So to start, I'm just going to take a little bit of fabric glue and going to put some on the inside here. And then I just cut a long strip from the lining. I, there's no right or wrong way to do this. But basically what you're doing is wrapping the entire bracelet and the reason that you are wrapping and overlapping is that when your bracelet stretches, then you don't see what's underneath. So you just continue to go around and round until your bracelet is completely covered. And if you want to secure it, as you're going along here, you can put a couple dabs of fabric glue as you're continuing to wrap. Now, you can also, um, if you don't have long strips like this, you can certainly cut shorter strips and then you just have to dab some fabric glue when you are to the end of your piece and you're starting a new one. And if your lining gets tattered what you're wrapping the bracelet in that's okay it just adds a little bit of interest so you don't need to be fussy about your edging of the fabric that you're wrapping around your bracelet so I have wrapped the entire thing and I'm just going to put a little bit of fabric glue on the inside here to secure that last little piece and finish it off. And then um, that last piece right there, if you're unhappy with the way that it kind of finished off, you can trim it 
or you can, um, when you put your flower on, you can just make sure that you put it right there so it will cover up where it was finally attached. So we're gonna let that sit for a second and just become nice and dry. And we're gonna move on to the cuddle bug. So here is my cuddle bug. And I've got some shapes already cut out. Um, that's the other thing about this project. You can certainly mix and match um, the nest abilities. Here I have a flower and then I used a circle as well. And you can do some really cute things um, like on this circle right here. I did a little blanket stitch just using some of the in stitches um, by, what is this company? Basil. So you can, this is, this is what thread I used to do the stitching and also to pull everything together. So that week here on our website, customcrops.com, and it comes in all kinds of different colors. So great product to have. Um, but you can, like I was saying, you can mix and match your shapes. So you can do circles and flowers. Um, I also cut a few of the strips uh, and then I did a basting stitch with my sewing machine. That's how I made this flower right here. So as you can see, you just gather up your basting stitch, you just pull it from one side and then you end up with a little flower like this and you can trim it and put it onto the bracelet. So let me show you how I cut some of these things out here. And we'll do kind of a large shape so that everybody can see. I've got my Blossom 2 Nestability. And let's use this one. So when you're using your nestability in your cuddle bug, you need to use your C plate, your ABC plate. Okay, and then I'm going to be putting, here's my B plate, going to be putting my fabric down, and then my nestability goes blade side down. Okay. And then I'm also going to put a piece of cardstock in there because the more pressure that gets put on my sandwich, um, the better chance I have of it being embossed. Um, it might be a little difficult to see on this flower because I've worn it a little bit, but there is an embossed edge around the shape and it's just really, really cute, especially with the corduroy. So I'm going to put an additional piece of cardstock in there and then I'm going to put my C plate in there and we're gonna roll it through. And then, when you take your sandwich apart, you can see you got this little cute cut flower. And there, is, there are a couple of contact points, especially if you have run this through and use that die a couple of times with fabric, but you can also run the die through the cuddle bug a couple of times and then you're sure to get a pretty clean cut. So there is my flower. And that will be the base for my bracelet. And then let's see what kind of pieces do I have here. I probably need a dark brown, some kind of dark brown flower. So let's go slightly smaller. And I'm going to grab some of this dark brown fabric, which I took from another shirt. I'm going to do the same exact sandwich here. That's stability cut side down. Grab your cardstock. Put it on top. And your C plate. Now, I'm going to just close this back up for a second. 